Meanwhile, Majority Leader Alsei Che Men Sabonsu has urged the NPP to explore other means by which parties in more established democracies resort to including consensus, acclamation, persuasion, and even rotations to elect their leaders. Addressing the party's delegates conference in Kumasi, the Swami MP noted the internal elections have created fractionalism and tore the party apart over the years and proposed that the incumbent MPs be allowed to contest the 2020 primaries unopposed. If there is one process that often inflicts wounds on the party, it is our parliamentary primaries. We should recognize that the parliamentary party today is at a critical juncture, at a precipice, and if we don't handle the process of choosing our parliamentary candidates well, and end up losing more than one half of our city MPs, as we did in 2020, if we do not stop the intrigues that have started in the backyards of city members of parliament, even in these early days, Mr. President, there will be tragic consequences for the party in 2024. In this regard, I would want to propose to the party that the constituencies should be encouraged to the largest extent possible to adopt the incumbent members of parliament for the purpose of the next general elections as any free for all election that is not guided or guarded will tip over our great party. It is the reason why I reiterate the call for introspection and reflection, especially how we conduct our parliamentary primaries. Those of us here in assembled have the power to dim the light of the, power of the party and blow it apart. Which direction shall we follow? The lies, the hatred, the uncharitable deeds that we inflict on ourselves would certainly not advance the cause of this great Dankwabuzia Dombo tradition.